The problem in discussion today is from the recent Maylong challenge and the problem name is modular equation. The difficulty level of this problem is easy and its prerequisites are basic math and some pre-computation. Let us try to understand the problem statement. So given integers n and m, find the number of ordered pairs a comma b such that uh, a and b are between 1 and n and a is less than b. Also, uh, this condition should hold that m mod a mod b should be equal to m mod b mod a. Right. So, uh, let us take a let us quickly take a small example so that uh, we understand this better. So, let us take n is equal to 3 and m is equal to 6. So, uh, what are such possible pairs? Uh, so, uh, if you see, uh, one such pair is uh, say 1 comma 3, right? Uh, as a and b should both uh, be between uh, 1 and n, so 1 comma 3. And uh, obviously, uh, this is satisfied because m mod 1 mod 3 is equal to 0 and m mod 3 mod 1 is also equal to 0. Another such pair is 2 comma 3 because again, as you see, it perfectly satisfies. And one more such pair is 1 comma 2. So, these are the three pairs. So, the answer for this will be equal to 3. So, now we have seen the sample case and we have also understood the problem statement. So, let us proceed to the solution approach. So, before starting with the full solution, first uh, I will discuss uh, the solution for subtask 1 only. So, subtask 1, it has constraints n less than or equal to 10 to the power 3 and also uh, m less than or equal to 10 to the power 5. So, m doesn't really matter over here. Our main constraint is over n. And here, uh, we, you can see, we can easily brute force. So, what will be the brute force? For, uh, so, first, uh, the outside loop will be for a, since it is the smaller number. For a in uh, 1 to n minus 1, since a and b have to be different. And for b in a plus 1 to n. So, uh, this is the brute force and here we will just check if uh, m mod a, if m mod a mod b is equal to m mod b mod a. So, if yes, uh, then count plus plus and so this will uh, simply give us the answer. So, this is just the brute force approach. Brute force for subtask 1. Now, uh, we have seen uh, the brute force approach. Now, let us see what will be the full solution for 100 points. Now, let us start with the full solution that is subtask 1 and 2 both. So, uh, we have this equation m mod a mod b should be equal to m mod b mod a and we need to find the number of such ordered pairs a comma b. So, we also have 1 less than equal to a less than b and less than equal to n. Now over here as we see b is clearly greater than a. So if you check out the LHS part of the equation m mod a mod b. So here the mod b term it is useless since a is less than b and this will give the smallest possible value. So mod b term has no use over here. So we can rewrite the above equation as m mod a is equal to m mod b mod a. So, this is the first step. Now, what we do is we need to somehow uh, gain information about uh, the mod b term by converting m into by writing m as uh, an addition of some other terms. So, what can we write m as? So, if you see m is equal to b into m by b. So, this is the lowest uh, or this is the highest uh, multiple of b which is less than m plus m mod b. Correct. 
So highest multiple of B less than M plus M mod B will obviously be equal to M. So uh, for time being, let us consider this term as X. So we have uh, B into M by B as X. Now let us substitute this term over here. So what do we get? We get X plus M mod B mod A is equal to M mod B mod A. So here what we can see and what we can state one thing clearly that X should be divisible by A for this uh, equation to hold. Therefore, we can state that X mod A should be equal to 0 since X needs to be divisible by, divisible by A for this equation to hold. Now, if you see, let us substitute the value of X. So, what was the value of X? B into M by B. So, this is uh, just the floor of M by B. So, uh, B dot into M by B should be divisible by A. So, what is exactly B into M by B? It is nothing but M minus M mod B. Right. So, we have reached the condition that for the equation to hold, M minus M mod B should be divisible by A. Right. So, now let us treat this value as X. So, X is equal to M minus M mod B. So, finally, we have reached the uh, conclusion that X mod A should be equal to 0, where X is M minus M mod B. Now, how do we check this? First, we have to factorize the number X, right? So, uh, if you see the answer for a particular X, it is uh, basically all the factors of X which are less than B. So, that those are the number of uh, such uh, ordered pairs, right? So, suppose X is equal to 12 and uh, we have uh, maximum N. So, N is equal to 6, right? So, let us consider we have B is equal to 6. So, for B is equal to 6, what are the possible values of A? So, the possible values of A are 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6. So, if you see all these four numbers, these can be the values of A. So, here A should be uh, the number. So, A should be the divisors of X which are lesser than B. Now, here uh, we cannot actually uh, calculate the divisors of each number there in there itself. So, what we have to do? We have to pre-compute factors for all numbers. Okay. Now, let us see how this can be done. So, uh, the solution part is over here. So, now let us see how we can implement this. So, let us check the implementation part in this question. So first what we have to do is that we have to pre-compute factors for all numbers from 1 to m. So uh, as we know that our x it is equal to m minus m mod b and uh, we have to uh, check all uh, such divisors of x uh, that are eligible to be a right. So those uh, divisors should be less than b. So uh, we can form a pair a comma b from them right. So, for that, we need to pre-compute factors for all numbers from 1 to m. Now, uh, the second step over here is that we have to iterate the value of b from 2 to n. Okay. So, uh, when we iterate, so we find out the value of x and using binary search or lower bound, what we do is that we check the number of divisors of x which are lesser than b. So, uh, now it may sound confusing, but uh, I will uh, clear this when I uh, tell you the implementation. And the last step that for b greater than m, the answer will be b minus 1 and it is easy to see over here. So, if b is greater than m, then m mod b will be equal to m, right? So, x will be equal to 0 because m minus m. So, basically any value of a will suffice for this except a equal to b, right? 
so there will be uh, there will be b minus 1 values for a for uh, this uh, equation to hold true so uh, for b greater than m the answer will be b minus 1 for that value of b so uh, i think i have cleared this part of the implementation now let us actually go to the c++ implementation so let us see the c++ implementation now uh, here first let us discuss the pre computation of factors so uh, first i have uh, initiated a constant integer m so this is the maximum value of m that we have been given in the constraints 5 into 10 to the power 5 here i have initiated a vector of vector divs so it contains the divisors of all numbers from 1 to m here uh, i have just uh, initiated a, a simple uh, nested loop so you may have seen this loop uh, when you implemented the sieve of erastosthenes right so here i will basically iterate uh, reiterate what this is so i is equal to 1 to m we are iterating and what is j j is basically all the factors uh, of uh, all the factors which are divisible by i so j is equal to i j less than m and j plus is equal to i so what we are doing we are basically uh, in the in the vector of in the jth vector we are pushing back the ith value so through this for uh, through this nested for loops we uh, find out the factors of all numbers from 1 to m okay so once we have pre computed all these factors now we are good to go so let us uh, check out the main part so over here first uh, we have to initialize the pre computation then i will take input the number of test cases then I will take input the two integers n comma m where n is the uh, binding constraint for a comma b and m uh, is as we know the m mod a mod b so the value main value now what i have done over here is that we have iterated the value of b from 2 to n so uh, as i said in the solution we have to iterate the value of b and then uh, accordingly calculate the value of a so now i have uh, calculated x as i said so x was equal to m minus m mod b now first uh, we check if x is greater than 0 so uh, as you remember if x is equal to 0 that means the uh, b greater than m condition was applied so basically if x is greater than 0 then we add result plus equal to lower bound divs x dot begin dot comma divs x dot end comma b minus divs x dot begin so i will explain what this uh, statement means so lower bound what uh, it tells us that it gives us a pointer to the number which is just uh, which is just lesser than b in this vector right and when we do minus divs x dot begin we get the count till that point okay so that is what we exactly wanted right what we wanted is that the number of divisors of x which were lesser than b so this statement is exactly giving us that and that we add it to our result else if x is equal to 0 i already stated that we have to add b minus 1 to our result so once this is done so finally we have to just output rest on a new line for each test case so this was the solution approach uh, for having more information about lower bound i will uh, paste an article in the uh, description i hope you liked the uh, video and thank you